Hello and welcome everyone to Let's Play It Hypercharged Unboxed. Uh, this is an early access game, as this warning will let us know, and this tag will remind us. Um, Hypercharge is a four-player co-op first-person uh, first shooter tower defense game. And it's a sign of our times that that can just, you know, roll right out and not be weird at all. There's not much to it yet. The early access tag is well deserved because there's, there's, can't rotate my character. Not a lot of gameplay here. What sucked me right in and made me purchase it was the theme, which as you can see, and, and the graphics are quite lovely, you play as an action figure. And several different lines of action figure and presumably you can unlock uh, different cosmetics for them and the game is full of little quips and callbacks like Clever Girl, Jurassic Park, T-Rect, Try Hard which is just being cute, Mean Green, uh, Tony, there's Tony the Tiger for the skin Dabba Dee. Uh, Flintstones reference. Fossil, I'm not sure of. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, this, this is my preference from a, a G.I. Joe fandom. And there are various heads. Scout totally isn't, you know, a scout trooper. Oh, Oculus. Cute. And Bronze and Sergeant. Yeah. Yeah, just started playing Modern Warfare, so that resonates. Sam Fisher? Anyway. Oh, one particularly cute one that uh, caught me, if you go to the weapons. Alright, your weapon customizations are... The, let's, let's be frank, the weapons are lackluster. Uh, rifle, shotgun, grenade launcher, machine gun, laser gun, closest thing you got to a sniper, and back to the rifle. And your gun here can stack two of these. And that's how you change your loadout. It rotates right here based on which one you pick. Uh, the weapons are mm, kind of generic. They lack punch. They don't feel particularly well to shoot. It would, you know, jux, what do you want? You're playing as a, you're actually playing as a toy. And for a balance issue, the machine gun and the rifle serve the same purpose. This one has much more ammunition per clip and kind of sprays it. This one is much more accurate. But you're usually so close to what you want to shoot anyway that the accuracy is, is wasted. This little, you know, early access niggles. Uh, the, the cute reference that struck me here is the weapon material, which sets your colors. Code blue, red alert, night vision right there cosmic lupus and warhammer 40k fans tell me if that is not I mean, the color and the name a space wolf reference now we'll go with that when you're setting up your profile or your loadout excuse me the defenses dictate these cards dictate what you can build the towers you can build in the game I have a really lousy loadout here each card has some cutesy little quote down here at the bottom the power consumption is over 9,000 uh, the anti-air turret I like the quote on the anti-air turret never been known to successfully take out a target and that's pretty well on the nose because the helicopters are the, uh, the most robust enemy you'll encounter now this this game is intended for four player co-op and it shows um, boop boop you kinda need friends who are into it and you kinda need fun friends if that makes sense. I don't know that I would derive much satisfaction from playing with three other randos on the internet. Now you can trim it down to one player take it offline. Oh, It has land play and it also has options for four player co-op so you can you know, leave this offline, jack it up to four players set up the controls for split screen so that's really nice. It's, you know, it's rare in a game today but yeah you and a, a mate can 
sit there and play this. And the part that I really like are the levels. And most of them have the coming soon tag. But let's just take that one. Let's go to the toy store. And I like them because they look absolutely perfect. Everything in here is a riff or a call a callback overpowered please nerf <laughs> to an actual toy and many of them to video game watches. Now we have this this little uh, two minute long build period before everybody gets here before the game pro the match starts. And look at this. Look. And yeah, there does seem to be a racetrack shaped like a like a dick, but oh well, tell you what you can get. Build up instead of Legos. The action figure packs. This is this is actually all of my satisfaction from purchasing this has derived from the detail of the backgrounds. Now I I still love toy stores, I'm not gonna lie to anybody. Everything from the scratched up VCT to what's on the shelves. Alright, your aisle here is divided into three colored zones. Each zone is controlled by one of these towers in a needlessly fiddy, fiddly mechanic. And here's your, your core. I have no idea what the story is behind it. And to build, you have to find a battery. I'll go through an extremely tedious jump. I don't know why there's a double jump, but jump up here, put the battery in the tower, and now that's the blue tower I can build in the blue zone. So your mouse wheel siphles through the towers you selected and uh, the where you are dictates where it's facing. So we enemies are going to spawn that way we want to... You know the lower left half of the corner is our currency with the, the gear logo. Get ready. Defend the core. Here's our first enemy type, and this is our rifle. And I guess the weapons sound alright, and the visuals are fine, but, um, I don't know. It's not giving me a, a really deep, visceral satisfaction. You see how, you know, the, the graphical appeal of the maps they put a tremendous amount of time, effort, and heart into the design of these levels. Let's look at this one. As you go up aisle two uh, is at the corner of two aisles and they, you have uh, enemies coming from two directions at a 90 degree angle. Aisle three is almost out in the open here with three possible lanes you have to defend. We'll look at this one then we'll look at the grandparents attic. And the whole, oh, it's, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a, the sun comes up in this one. Which even if it doesn't, being in the toy, you know, being a toy in a toy store at night, it's a cool concept. And that's where most of the effort has gone. The gameplay is, is as you saw, very generic. There's a lot of fiddly design details like this battery nonsense. The enemies change type. And there's different color ones for different difficulties. Yeah, the sun's rising. But they're not horrifically compelling overall. And and as I said, the the actual game mechanics are kind of fiddly. I could have the weapons be a little more satisfying with a little more variety. But overall. I love that someone came up with the concept and I love the visuals, I love the design. Perhaps some of the wordplay and everything's a schmidge juvenile, but that's fine. And I might find a, you know, this might not resonate with as many people or with people like it did with me because I don't know how many of you guys are still toy collectors. Glue it. Or still enjoy. I mean, I have kids my own now. I still enjoy walking through a toy store.
All right. We'll take a look at what kind of creeps we get in uh, in this one, and we'll check out the grandparents' attic right quick. Ah, the same creeps. Okay. Now we do. They did go through the effort to put headshots in there for your opponents that have heads. That it does more damage. You have a little bit of a zoom there with the right mouse button. There's a bunch of attachments for your weapon, but they don't do anything. They're just cosmetic. Early access, you know. And since it is on early access, and I do think the the theme is pretty great. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to keep a close eye on it. Okay, so we basically got the same level, just from a 90 degree angle. Amazing. <laughs> Commander Swiss, as opposed to Captain America, and Ion Bot, instead of Iron Man. It's just so cute, I, don't, I can't hardly stand it. Alright, let's check out the last map. Now that, that's another little niggle that needs to be addressed. Uh, it doesn't remember your settings. So you gotta just put all this back where you want it. And the checkboxes threw me the first time, but that was me being a goof. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my grandparents' attic did not look like Dracula's castle. That said... This this is still pretty cool. Accurate brickwork. See, I know what brickwork's supposed to look like. Christmas lights are always welcome. Yeah, the Sunbow S cartoon showing on the TV with the action figures watching it is strangely apropos. So is the almost SNES sitting on top of the, the VCR. And my first attempt at making a video of this, I pitched off in there not knowing it was a it was a thing. I wonder what that is on the floor. If I remember correctly, somebody smack me if I'm wrong. I believe this is fifteen bucks on Steam right now. Which this took a lot of effort. Nobody spray foam insulation could. Nobody would dare say otherwise. I mean, there's a lot of heart poured into building these levels, or even though there's very few of them just yet. But it needs more game to really, you know. I guess it needs to come out of early access and be a finished, polished product, is what I'm saying. So as it stands right now buy it on sale if you have some friends who are into the th as into the theme as you are if you're into the theme hmm. not really castle gray skull like castle fisher price all right that is hypercharged unboxed and i'm juxtaposed thanks for watching like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these and, ah, see what i can do with these robots